Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm here for Saw Crafters Guest Design Team. I have a large project to share with you today, and I normally like to do start to finish videos if I can on projects, but this one, as you can see, is a very large dresser, so it was really awkward to film. I do, however, have some detailed photos at the end of this video that will show you this project in greater detail. And in the meantime, I will walk you through what I did. So these dressers here are, again, from Saw's shop. They are nine and almost three quarters inches tall by four and a half, I believe. By four and a half. And there's three separate dressers that I adhered together to make one large dresser. Now she has several of these dressers to choose from that have different decorative tops on them. I chose the plain top. That way, if I wanted to, I could stack these. So I could add another th layer of three dressers at the bottom if I wanted to and make them really tall. But for now, um, I'm going to leave them as they are. I used, I've been hoarding the rest of what I had left of this Pink Paisley London Market Collection. So I went ahead and used this since this will be sitting on my desk. I figured it's the best time to use it since I will be looking at this all the time. I do have a photo of it sitting on my, my desk um, included in the photo show that I'll have at the end, but it literally sits right in front of me so I pretty much stare at it at all times. So the first thing I did, I adhered all the pieces, which Saw has videos showing how to put these dressers together. Super simple. Everything just pops together. And I used a little bit of E6000. And for the drawers, the drawers really were so easy to put together. If the drawers, when you're putting them together, do not fit perfectly together, then try flipping over one of the pieces and try again because her drawers are perfect when they're put together like they're they sit perfectly together so and they um, easily come in and out of the dresser so that's a good way to know if you have it correctly um, and all her she has a video on all her prom products on how to put it together so I put all of them together gave each one of them two coats of gesso and then I decided because I wasn't sure what color I was going to do I didn't decide on the paper or anything at that point and then when I decided on the paper I figured this color would look great it's it's a white but it's a little bit of an off-white so I gave it two coats of white as well and then I um, just measured and added the paper separately I added three pieces to the top I added a piece to the side, the side as well. I just love this paper. And then I added some pieces to the bottom, or excuse me, the back of it. And then each drawer, I did the same thing. I just measured it out and um, used a um, one inch, I believe, circle punch. And so I adhered all my papers on. I left the bottom with no paper again um, just because this will be sitting on my desk and then I added knobs to each of the drawers and what I used I got these from Home Depot they're button plugs they're one half inch and I just stuck a push pin to the back of them and painted them the same color as I did the dresser also in Saw's store she has door handles if you wanted to get little door handles um, for the drawers. I did these for decoration because obviously you don't need them, but I really like the look of them on there. So on the top of the dresser, I added some handmade flowers. I have four handmade flowers here. I have one of Saw's rhinestone buckles with her pearl in the center. Let me zoom in just a little. Then I have little pearls in the center of these flowers as well. I have some Wild Orchid Craft flowers, the burgundy, along with some leaves tucked throughout. I have some Craft Supplies One little flowers in here as well. 
and I also added one of Saw's little angels here and also the the sentiment it says remember I added a couple pearls to that as well I also added one of her clock pieces her clock hands there I just love that this project I did in one sitting it was it was just a couple of hours it took me to do the entire thing and this was super fun to make and I can't tell you how much I love this I plan on getting plenty more dressers because it really holds it holds all of my stuff that I have currently from saw so these dressers are pretty deep I have several um, things of sentiments here you can see the the depth of the dresser there and I didn't paint the inside of the dresser I figured there was no need to and I actually like it I just painted the front added my paper and my little doorknob there or pull knob whatever you want to call it so as you can see these hold a ton of stuff and it it sits right in front of me on the desk so it's very accessible easy to get to so I hope you check out her store she has quite a few dressers to choose from and like I said you can keep them separate or like I did add a little E6000 in hot glue and it adhered immediately and it's very sturdy so thanks so much for watching I hope you stay tuned for the photos and the links will be in the description box below